Welcome back. Well, we spoke about equity markets and a lot that is happening. Otherwise, in business, it's time to talk all about commodities. Manisha Gupta is joining us. A lot of updates there. Good morning, Manisha. Morning, Sonala. Thank you for that. Well, I'll start with the crude oil prices because today is the fourth trade day of decline. And with this, the crude oil prices now are at the lowest since the month of January. Well, there are demand concerns. There is weak economic data that we have been talking about. Also, the latest data from U.S. shows that the non-farm payroll has been revised down by 824,000 jobs between March 2023 and March 2024. And that is the reason uh, you are looking at uh, recession concerns still continuing there. Well, the FOMC minutes also show that the rate cut in month of September is pretty on if data meets expectations and that we have seen going online. The ceasefire between Israel and Hamas seems to be fizzling out and the markets will take cognizance of that as well. The only reason that you have seen prices in support is the U.S. crude inventories because those have declined much more than what the street was anticipating. Well, that's about crude, but yeah, one thing that continues to shine bright is the gold prices still holding above $2,500 an ounce. There is a dovish outlook for your central banks, low bond deals, dollar index at a seven month low. All of these factors have been quite supportive. Within the base metal space, we've seen some profit taking seep in yet again. Whether it's copper, Asia is slightly on the weaker side today. Okay, all right. So that's all the update that we have from the commodity space. Thank you so much, Manisha, for joining us with that.